Today we're showing you how to create a social media banner with Adobe Express. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're gonna to show you an awesome new product from Adobe. It's called Adobe Express. And basically it allows you to do uh, like all kinds of amazing design works uh, on the web. And if you are already a Creative Cloud member, uh, like most of us are, that use Photoshop and all the other programs, uh, it's included in your membership. So you already have it. It's like, it's there, it's, uh, let's use it. If not, you can use this tool completely for free and there's a ton of awesome functionality built in that's free forever. All right, well, I really wanted to do this fun project um, featuring my dog. And the thing that I'm loving about Adobe Express is um, like when I get started with this stuff, I don't always know exactly like what I wanna do, but like having the templates and all the design features and things like that built in um, just kind of helps me like get started and create something interesting. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So here we are with Adobe Express and this is completely web-based, completely cloud-based. So you can start from your, like there's suggested projects here. You can try these quick actions like removing background and a lot of the common stuff we do in Photoshop can now be done completely on the web using quick actions. And we're gonna do some of this stuff, but we're just gonna go right to this little plus icon here. So we're just gonna go to plus and use, you can see there's a lot of popular stuff right here. And then basically like look at all this you can do. Now I find for me, a lot of the times, like if I'm exporting a GIF from Photoshop, which I do a lot for like before after images, um, Instagram wants it to be an MP4. So I'm like, ah, oh, I need to convert my GIF to an MP4. And you can do that. You can convert to an MP4, you can convert back to a GIF, you can merge, resize. You can do a lot of stuff with video, which is super helpful because just opening a huge video editing program to do simple stuff can be frustrating. So it's nice to have it here. But what we're gonna do today is I wanna create an Instagram story. I just wanna have fun with this. So we're gonna hit Instagram story and it like sizes it perfectly for me. So like. Awesome. Now, with the, where we're gonna get started, let's just then talk about like here on the left hand side, you can discover, and then you can start with these like templates, basically. Like if you just scroll through them, basically like my whole like mindset when it comes to these templates is like, you know, if you see something that you like, like you can change any elements of it. These are like really good starting places. So like, you know, scrolling through these, it kind of like helps you get on your journey. So here's some templates on the left. You can also go through like different ads of text and add some photos. Now there's like Adobe stock, which is like awesome because it's included with our like Adobe Creative Cloud membership. So you can just put in any type of Adobe stock and work with it. So in this case, you know what? I wanna upload my own photo. I wanna work with my dog, my favorite thing in the entire world. So we're going to work with my dog. So let's go ahead and just grab a photo of of my dog. This is Koa. He's literally my entire world. I love him so much. So we're just gonna resize this. And you can see like this, it's kind of like Photoshop. Like we have all these tools available to us. Now, check this out. So uh, we've got our image, like this is gonna be our Instagram story, but I wanna make it more interesting. I wanna like remove this background. I wanna put like a graphic background there. So like literally over here on the right hand side, over under like the edit image, we're just gonna go to remove background. Like. <laughs> How awesome is that? Like one click. This used to be so like, it would take like 30 minutes to do this, but now like boom, remove background and that looks really good. And this uses Adobe's uh, Sensei, uh, the artificial intelligence to do this. It's the same tool that you would use if you were actually using Photoshop. It's using the same processing information. So it's a high quality cutout. Basically that's what I'm getting at. So we're just gonna hit this little checkbox up there. Looks great. Um, boom, Koa's cut out of his background. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna just go over to backgrounds and I wanna see what kind of like backgrounds we wanna put in here. And the the fun thing is like, okay, you can just kind of test things out. I'm gonna click on there and I'm gonna hit pin to background. Okay, let's go ahead and close that down. Now you'll see the coolest thing here is I actually have layers right here available to me, just like we would in Photoshop. And this is what I think makes Adobe Express like so powerful is that like, you can work with layer layers. You can move them around. You're, you're gonna see. Um, I think that looks cool, but let's just go to like more geometric shapes. I wanna see like more of this stuff. And I could just kind of click through these things. I'm just hitting pin to background on these things. But you can see like now I can go here with my layers. Let's just click back on my guy here. Okay, I can go through my different layers and I can move them around. So I can move this up, move this down. There we go. And I can even 
move the scale of these items as well. Now, if I wanna just delete these, it's super easy. I'm gonna hit delete here, and then let's go ahead and click back on here, and I'm gonna hit delete on that one. So we, we've seen like you can add backgrounds. This is super cool. So I'm gonna just keep going through, let's just go through a few different backgrounds. So I wanna choose something that's kind of like fun with Koa, you know, like uh, like kind of a graphic, that, that's my idea. So let's go through this geometric one more time, and let's see some retro, uh, here we go, 3D shapes. Ooh, this is kind of cool, I like that. Let's see how this looks. Now in this case, we already used the pin to background. I'm gonna go to move freely, and then you can just click on it and we're just gonna make it bigger, okay? So this is just treated like a regular layer now. And now, as you can see in my layer stack, I can just click and drag that under Koa, okay? And all of a sudden we have like a cool background uh, under, under Koa. So uh, going through all of these different patterns and geometry and things like that, it's just super easy and it's, it's kind of fun. Like that's the biggest thing about Adobe Express for me is like, Oh yeah, this is like fun to create something like decently good and interesting and, and like <laughs> that I would want to see here. Um, let's go to this organic. I like this organic. So let's go ahead and hit more on that. And all this is just included. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, let's, let's see about this. So um, there we go. So we got some cool organic shapes. I want to see how this looks. Let's hit move freely. So you can just kind of pop them in there and you know, I want to put that right under Koa. There we go. Go ahead and select that layer, and then we're just gonna click and drag, just like you would in Photoshop. There we go. That's pretty cool. I really like that. I, I think it looks really good. Now, you can do things like change the opacity of this layer if you wanna do that, if you kinda of wanna mix some things. And you can even create filters if you want to. You can grayscale and darken and do some other coloring filters like if you wanna change that. But I think this looks really, really good. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is add some text to this image because it's like, eh, it's cool, but let's add some text to it. So we're gonna go over here to the text and I'm like, I don't know what like I wanna do, but thankfully like all these templates are here so I can just kind of scroll through them and be like, okay, cool. What is, <laughs> what, what is, what do we wanna add? So let's see, I'm gonna go right up here to where it says social, okay? And then I'm gonna hit more. And then I'm gonna see what it says right here. So basically I'm just kind of scrolling through these with the idea of like having fun. I'm, I, I'm just like, oh, that looks cool. So I'm gonna hit on this one. I like that new post. So let's go ahead and click on that layer. We're gonna move it up, but I don't want it to say new post. I want it to say like Paw Patrol or like Puppy Patrol, like something to do with my dog, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here on the right hand side. We're gonna hit ungroup, okay? There we go. And you can see now I have two different layers. I have where it says new post and then I have my pink layer. So, so where it says new post, let's click there and you can edit this text. So I'm gonna type uh, Paw Patrol. There we go, Paw Patrol. But it doesn't fit, no big deal. You can just scale it down. You can do that with these tools here, like your user interface tools, or let me hit undo, controller command Z, just like in Photoshop. You can just change your size right here. So I'm gonna try to type in like 120 and hit enter. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me try to type in 110, pretty nice. Now this pink background's cool, but I want it to kind of match the, like some colors that are actually in the other background, right? So I'm gonna click on this pink background. You can see it's actually a grouped background. So I'm gonna ungroup this, there we go. Now we can click back on this pink here. There we go. So you can click through your different layers and then I can just change the color. So let's go ahead and click there. And then you have your color palettes that you can work with. You, go, you can also upload like brand identities. So I've up uploaded some stuff for Flurn, which is super cool. Um, but you could also just go to your little eyedropper. So I'm gonna go to this eyedropper tool and then like pick that yellow color there. Cause it's in the background and I like it when, you know, colors match, that's kind of fun. All right, well, that's nice, I like that. So let's go ahead and close out of there. Now I wanna create like a little paw graphic, like a seal of approval, right? So I'm gonna go over here to where it says shapes on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and click that. And I'm just gonna type in paw, like P-A-W, like a, like a paw of a dog. Um, and there we go, look at this. All these shapes are included. So I wanna find a nice cute one. This one looks great. So we're just gonna click on that and it puts it right in there. Okay, so we're gonna put this down here and kind of like scale it, scale it down a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. And I want it inter I don't want it to intersect Koa though. There we go. Now I can't really see it that well, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and we're just gonna adjust the color here. I'm gonna grab my color picker and then I'm gonna just grab like a darker color again, like from this image. So 
you can see we're able to bring all these elements in and then kind of like uh, custom tune everything to like exactly what we want. All right, and this is, we're like, we're getting into it. Like it, we're gonna have more fun with this. All right, check it out. So let's go here to our text. Um, and then now let's go back to our text. And I wanna say something like COA approved, you know, like with a little, like with a little seal of approval. So let's try, I'm gonna just try like a seal. I'm gonna type in seal, like a, okay, nothing's found there. That's totally cool. So let's just see what we can find down here, like moving through, <laughs> you look, you've got this, I like that, that's pretty cute. Uh, moving through these, like, I basically just wanna find something that's like kind of already looks like what I want. This one actually looks pretty cool. Let's, let's put this here, sign up today. Obviously, I don't want it to say sign up today. I want it to say COA approved, right? So check it out. I'm gonna click here on my layer stack. I'm gonna go to ungroup, boom, okay? Where it says sign up today, I'm gonna hit ungroup on that too. And then it, this is up today and sign, right? So up, I don't need, I can just remove that. Let's go ahead and click on, all right, I'm gonna say COA, and then we're gonna go to today, and I'm gonna change that to approved. COA approved, yeah, yeah, you know it. All right, and then I just wanna move this approved to like, you know, right about there. Perfect. Uh, there we go. You know what? I like. I wanted it to say COA approved, but approved is like so long. Um, it it's like not graphically giving me the exact thing that I want because I want it to fit in here, right? So maybe I'll just have it say just COA. Why not? So I'm gonna take this and I'll just delete where it says approved. But I do like this that font right there. Now this red here with the little background that is cool, but mostly I just want this uh, the font right there, the koa, right? So I'm gonna just click on this and I can just delete that. So I've got just my koa font right there, and then I can just kind of put it in in here, right? So I'm just kind of like resizing it so it's like in the actual paw. So um, there we go, Paw Patrol, and this is koa. How awesome is that? Uh, that's not all, like. Boom, what we're gonna do next is we're actually going to animate this. So I'm here with my like design elements here. I can add all my elements here, but on the right hand side, I can actually work with things like animation. So I'm gonna click on animation and then I can do some like text animation. So if I wanted to just click on that, boom, a Paw Patrol, and that automatically brings that in. Now, if you wanted to do some like photo animation, let's try some panning. It's going to pan in the background of Koa for the Paw Paw Patrol, and like this is awesome. Like, like Adobe Express basically, in my opinion, it's kind of like it's combining a lot of cool features from Photoshop, from Illustrator, and from like After Effects as well, because we're able to do this uh, like animation effects, and it's like it, it's pretty easy to do. Like, I, I <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, boom, click on that. It's cool. So. Uh, from here, you can actually just download it now. Like if I just go to this download uh, up here on the top right, um, okay, we already know that it's perfectly sized for an Instagram story. So I wanna download an MP4 because that's perfect for uh, the download. So, and you can even schedule your social media post on Adobe Express as well, so awesome. So let's just go to start download and you can see it's downloading now as an MP4 video. Now, while that downloads, you can see it's also being saved in the cloud. So this can be accessed from any device all around the world. Like all your work is always saved. You don't ever have to worry about like losing anything. Um, you know, it's, it's all in the cloud all the time. So let's just go ahead. You can see what's saved as my project. I'm just gonna go to show in Finder. And here we go. Let's double click on there and let's hit play. Now I'm gonna go back here to my projects, okay? And then you can see like, here are all of your projects waiting for you. So, you know, I was having some fun. I made like a game night project. This one I also did where like, you know, I cut these people out of the background and it put like feeling stylish and the background removal. All this stuff is just like, boom, click, 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 and you're done. Here's another version I did with Koa and the Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol and then I just put Koa approved right down there. You can see I used a slightly different background there. So you can create multiple variations of it. And if you wanna to go to edit projects here, there we go. You can go right down here and you can add a page or you can duplicate this page. So if I click duplicate page, there we go. Now we have two different pages 
And on this duplicate, if I wanted to, let's go to animation. Instead, let's do a typewriter animation on this one. So I've got Paw Patrol coming in, and then this is gonna fade in, that little animation. So let's go ahead and download this. So it's like basically the same, uh, let's hit start download there. It's like kind of the same project, but we just duplicated it and then did another animation. So if maybe you're doing this with a client, you can just send them both versions and your client's gonna be like, oh, awesome, that's just so nice you were able to make these different versions. Um, little did they know, uh, <laughs> you just hit two buttons literally to, to do that. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna hit show in Finder here and let's go ahead and play that as well. So there you go, your Paw Patrol. And you can see we have a totally different animation this is so, so fun. So we're just gonna go back to our projects here. And again, everything is saved in the cloud. We're able to access everything at any time. So um, again, uh, Adobe Express is included like with your Creative Cloud membership. Awesome, you get this like for free. Right? Well, if you have Creative Cloud, like you already have access to it. Um, and if you don't have Creative Cloud, you can sign up and you can actually create a lot of free projects with this without paying at all. So it's uh, it's here, it's available. And for us Photoshop users, especially if we wanted to do social media and graphics, things like that, I feel like this is a huge, huge uh, tool for us. Alrighty, thank you so much. This is a partnership with Adobe. I'm super excited about this project and I can't wait to pu uh, publish my Paw Patrol. Alrighty, thanks again. I'll see you later. Bye everyone.